So I'm here at Comic Con with Ireland Reed of uh, Nerd NerdGlam.com. Yes. And uh, so, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've actually been cosplaying for two years, and I've been making costumes for about going on 15 years. And uh, do you, uh, as a cosplay, is that basically your your job? Uh, no, I'm an engineer during the week, and then I just do this on the weekend. That, that's incredible. Thank you. And uh, how long does it take you to do each costume? Um, usually depends. It could be anywhere from 30 hours. Process to gather the materials, um, all the way up to my current one is about seven months. And what's that? This one right here? No, 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 no. The one that I'm unveiling in New York Comic Con. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we can't know what it what it is. It's a villain. Oh, it's a villain. That's okay. All I can say. No, that's perfectly fine. And uh, so, what what got you into um, comic books? Um, I have five brothers, and I have a father who is always into this, and uncles are always into it. So it's something I always kind of grew up in the culture already. Um, it's just kind of like a new thing as far as being able to actually take the costumes out and take them around. So it's new for me to do that. So. So uh, in the in the past, were you kind of as a, as a child cos cosplaying as you will at home, kind of dressing up as different characters and stuff like that, or? Um, yeah, but it was completely proud of <laughs> by the the community that I lived about to wear them outside of the house. And then my parents were never really wanted to celebrate Halloween. So the only time I could Oh, okay, so it's really great now that you get to do this. It's kind of like a fulfillment of what you've been wanting to do almost your whole life, huh? It actually is. It's a combination. So it's a combination of taking my art skills and my engineering skills and kind of putting it in with the child of love and be able to like, bring it and like, showcase it. And did you make this um, piece yourself? Some of the pieces I did on this, and actually this is the one that I had the commission out just because of the time crunch. This is the only piece um, where I didn't actually do the bodysuit. So I already had it halfway started and then I never got finished. So, so you, you do um, sewing as well as everything. a plexiglass, all that stuff? Yes, everything. More blood, anywhere from other phone to you name it. So I have a lot of pieces coming out in 2016 that involve a lot of metal work, involve a lot of war blood, foam, you name it. So I'm excited. Awesome. And other than uh, New York Comic Con later this fall, where else are you going to be appearing, if anywhere? It's kind of nice because I'm kind of coming down from like doing 38 weeks of this. Uh, so I have New York Comic Con, and then I have Kamikaze. And then I have a small break, and the very last con of this uh, year's tour will be in the Locks in Mississippi. And then from there, it's kind of quiet for a while. If you will. Yeah, yeah. So people only have just a few more chances to, to few see. More. A few more this year, and then next year is completely different schedule. So. And uh, outside of New York Comic Con, are you going to be unveiling any new things or any um, different uh, costumes? Maybe this year, I haven't decided, uh, just because of what's the limit to time. And you also have to think with the travel, with packing the costumes. We're not unveiling New York Comic Con except a luggage and a half. So 32 inch piece of luggage and a half of one. You know, I'm already at my limit. Wow. So I, I can't even imagine what that could possibly be. I that's, know. that's incredible. It's never been done before. And uh, so, where, what part of the country do you live? I actually live in Southern California. Oh, okay. So it was quite a trip to get out this way. Um, it wasn't that bad. I'm still getting used to the weather. I left at 102 degrees, <laughs> and I get here, and I'm like, I am so cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But at least this customer really looked like it took two trunks and a half. So. No, it didn't. It was very compressible. That's why it's easy to travel. If you take one complex costume for the weekend, and then you take a couple that are just casual or a couple that are easy to pack, yeah. just to kind of make up for the room. So. Cool. And are you going to be competing at the uh, costume contest here? I'm actually judging it tomorrow. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that one. So uh, today I have a panel which gets to talk about the awesome reasons of why you should cosplay. Um, with three swag bags, as you can see behind you. And then uh, tomorrow, I judging the contest, so I'm very excited. Um, I, I'm so excited to see how excited people are about wearing the artwork. I'm yeah. excited about seeing the character, and nothing brings me more joy than seeing people excited about the expression of their artwork. So. Yeah, yeah, the people here, they, well, right behind, you can't see it behind the camera, there's someone in a full life-size Pikachu. It's incredible. I know, I just want to go up and hug them so much. Well, thank you so much for talking thank to me. Thank you, I greatly appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.